Hey guys, it's Viejo here and we are into the fourth week of October in 2023. Things got kind of cool this morning for me here on the central coast of California at 6.30 or so this morning. It was only 50 degrees. I think that might be the coolest morning we've had in a while. But uh, it, the sun came out for a while, warmed things up a little bit. I got 64 here in the garage. It's probably just about that outside right now too. Um, <clears throat> but it's getting cloudy again now, so and we might have a little rain tomorrow, but it'll be darn little if we get any. Hey, it's it's Moldy Monday, and this is episode 34, and what I've got for you today is another Lyman mold. This is the 358477. I've actually got two of these. I have it in one cavity and two cavities, um, and I had already cast the two cavity version, so um, I had picked up this little one cavity um, for next to nothing i got it really cheap and so i bought it and you know those single cavities are kind of fun to cast if you don't need a whole lot of bullets the an advantage is is that everyone's going to be the same okay you have very very little uh, variation from bullet to bullet unless you don't do a good job stirring your alloy up and you start getting um you know heavier and heavier bullets as you go through but that's uh beside the point here <clears throat> um this uh, mold cast really well. You're going to see in the casting video, if you're watching on Rumble, you're going to see a little smoke coming up off, and that's because yours truly failed to get <laughs> a good cleaning job performed on it to get all of the mineral oil off. However, it did not seem to affect um, the casting. I think the, the oil that didn't get cleaned off was coming up from around the sprue plate bolt, but... Uh, Anyway, after after the first couple drops, it it cleared up and it ran, it was running fine anyway, so I didn't do anything about it. I just kept going, um, and, it, and it did cast really well. You're gonna see it. It did a good job, made nice bullets, and, and we had kind of a fun time. Didn't cast very many as usual, only twenty or thirty or so. Um, that's enough for me to go uh, and test. I used to, you know, when we first started this series, I would, you know, cast a ton of them, and then sometimes the bullet didn't turn out very well and I didn't like it or didn't shoot well or whatever and I'm sitting on top of all these extra bullets that I don't want so I'm only casting enough to take to the range and I usually will shoot you know maybe one wheel full or, or one mag full for you guys to see just so you can kind of see what the um, you know what I did with the bullet um, <clears throat> and for this one um, I shot them out of the Ruger GP100 I have two of these I have the stainless steel version also I like these guns they're rugged, they're, they're uh, well built. My only gripe about them is they're easy enough to take down, to take apart, take down to the frame to clean them. Um, that whole trigger group drops out of there. It's not a real simple process to get it out. Well, it, it's simple, it's not a complex process, but it's kind of tricky to get that thing to drop out of there. It's even trickier to put it back into place. But anyway, um, I do like the guns, they're, they're fun to shoot. So you'll see that. Um, you know the drill guys here on, on uh, YouTube. Um, if you want to watch the casting process, you got to go over to the Rumble channel um, and you, you know how to do that, right? Uh, go to rumble.com and you type in my channel name there um, and you will uh, be able to see the casting. Well, here's what the bullet looks like. Okay, cast about 155 grain bullet as cast with the alloy that I use, which was what we now refer to as Viejo number one, and that's my rain scrap, whatever it happens to be with <laughs> with that particular set of ingots with uh, enough tin to take it up to um, about a 95, uh, 3, 2, 95% lead, 3% animal, only 2% tin. And that's only really based on uh, my scratch tests with, with the ingots. Um, Animonial lead is what's usually used in our jacketed rounds. And that's three percent antimony, and that was that's most of what I come up with at as uh, rain scrap, okay, you know, jacketed bullets. Sometimes I get my own bullets back out of the berm, but um, th those jacketed bullets are primarily the the cores in them are antimonial lead, three percent antimony. So uh, to get the alloy I want, I take ten pounds of rain scrap and add three ounces of tin. You could add more uh, tin, but it gets expensive. Tin's pricey. And I don't have a free source for it, so I have to buy it from Roto Metals. Um, so I'm a little stingy with it, but a little bit of tin helps the uh, uh, 
uh, mold fill a little better. Okay, it comes out of the pot spigot a little better. Okay, with some some tin in it, um, it adds a little bit of hardness, but not much. So anyway, that's what we used for the alloy on this one, and you'll see that in the in the uh, spec sheet um, when we get to that point. So if you're watching on Rumble, we'll we'll get into uh, taking a look at the mold, and then we'll go right into the casting sequence. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, we'll jump you out to where we pull them out of the powder coat and uh, we'll take a look at the metrics and then go to the shooting and come back and wrap it all up. All right, let's go. Okay, there it is. Let's go in here a little tighter on it. Good looking bullet. Okay, first cast. Although this is a used mold, so we expect it to drop right off the bat and it did a nice job. Here's the record for the Lyman 358477, the semi-wad cutter bullet. It came in at 155 grains at my alloy, which usually works out to around a hardness of 11. Could be 10, could be a little bit more than 11. It just varies depending on what my range scrap came in at. Okay, single cavity mold. Okay, so it measured at 0.360 with that alloy. Overall length. 0 0.660, and get out of that shadow there for you. 0 0.660, and from the base up to the shoulder, 0 0.440. All right, here we go. And the greenish blue ones are the 477 done in seasick, a mixture of Eastwood Midnight Green Metallic and Sea Blue. And these guys here, that's the 665 are done in stone, that mixture of Eastwood beige and midnight green metallic. Look like they're made out of rocks. All right, so there we go with all the casting in the powder coat got done, and uh, you saw the metrics page there. So that all uh, went pretty well. You know, it's admittedly slow going with a single cavity mold, but I like it, especially with those uh, old time Lyman, you know, little short handles, so lightweight, easy, easy to cast with. So um it, you know if you if you like the old Lyman or ideal molds and you get the single cavities in particular you know try to get yourself a set of those handles or two they're nice um let's go ahead then and uh head up to the range and we'll take a look at uh just a short shooting ses session i'll show you uh, what i did with it it wasn't a great target okay i didn't do really well um, the last time that i shot that bullet i actually shot it quite a bit better than i did this time um so I don't know what was going on. Just me. Too much coffee or too old or just plain old crappy shooting. <laughs> Probably. It's not the gun either. Trust me. It's a good shooter. Um, okay. So let's go look at the range footage. Be right back. Oh, jeez. Well. So now, in, um, so you, what would you do with it? Do you have room at your room? Feed the, the horses and stuff in the evening and retire? I never been to the park and get a gun. <laughs> Just figured it'd be cool to have. Yeah, yeah. Well, the lady, the lady that lives in front of Trent wanted it. And there's a group of the 477, not quite as good. Okay, there you go. You saw how, how it went at, at the range. It's always fun to shoot. Um, the little mold, you know, ran pretty well. You know, I like casting those one cavity molds, as you know, as long as you don't need a whole lot of them, um, they're fun to use. So I think we'll go ahead and, uh, tie this one up. I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe got a hint or two out of that. Um, saw something that you hadn't seen before. Maybe at least, you know, look at that bullet. Um, if you wondered what it looked like as cast. So uh, let's, uh, let's, let's tie it up right there. From the Viejo bench for now, that's all she wrote. <laughs>